I'm Brian with Next Step Audio Enhancement. We're continuing our Back to Basics series today, and today we're going to be talking about wires and wire gauge. Now, what does that have to do with home theater? Stick with me, I'll explain it to you. Basically, when we're talking about wires, the size of the wire is determined by its gauge, and the gauge refers to the size of the hole that it fits through when they're drawing it out at the factory when they're making the wire. So the gauges are a little counterintuitive. The higher the number, the smaller the wire. I know it sounds weird, but follow with me here. This little guy right here, this little teeny tiny skinny wire, this is the 20 gauge wire. This one here is a 12 gauge, and this one here is an eight gauge. So you can see when I hold all three of these up, you can see that they're drastically different sizes. That's important for you to know because the larger wire will carry more information over a longer distance without losing any signal along the way. That's where it relates into your speaker wires. So your speaker wire probably looks something like this or like this. Now this guy here actually has two wires inside. It's the copper inside these little guys, not the whole giant piece that you see here. This is actually a covering that goes over the outside to make it safe to run it inside a wall or inside a ceiling and is for code purposes. The wire gauge that we're talking about is the copper that's inside these little guys that's inside this outer jacket. So this one here is an 18 gauge wire. This one here is a 16 gauge wire. Now this here is very common. You can get this all over the place. This came off of um, Amazon, believe it or not, a really great site. And it's very common to have this type of wire in your home. Now to determine what size wire to buy, see most people, they buy the wire and then they say, oh, well, I'm gonna put my speakers here. Do that backwards. First thing you wanna do is figure out where in the room everything's gonna go. So if your TV's here and you want a speaker here and a speaker there and one back in that corner, one over in that corner, what you wanna figure out is the total distance the signal is going to travel before it gets to the farthest speaker away. So let me put this in perspective. If your TV's here, your receiver's underneath. You're running the speaker wire from here, it's going over to that corner of the room, then it's going back to that corner of the room, then it's going across all the way to the other side to that back corner speaker. You wanna take all of those distances. So let's say it's 10 feet from here to the corner, it's 20 feet back to that corner, 15 feet back across. You add all those up, you got 45 feet. So 45 feet, and then what we need to know, the last piece of information is the ohm rate or rating of your speakers. So that's very simple to see. All you do is you look at the back of the speaker and it will tell you what the ohm rating is. Most of them are rated at eight ohms. So that means one speaker is going to have eight ohms of resistance. And you wanna have a wire that's sized properly so that you'll get those eight ohms at that distance. How do you know this? we have a chart right on our article that's on our website. But to make it easier, I'll just tell you, in order to get a speaker that will work well at eight ohms resistance at 45 feet, you're gonna want 16 gauge wire, just like what I have right here. Now, say you've got a six ohm load for some reason, you would need to actually have uh, a bigger gauge so you'd have to drop down to a 14 gauge and that would get you your signal out to where you need say you've got a 4 ohm load on your speaker wires for example that way you need the 12 gauge so you need to go to a big wire in order to get that signal all the way out to that speaker so it's important you put all of the pieces together and that will determine what size wire you need to buy from the get-go and then when you hook everything up it's all going to work the way you want it to and you're going to have wonderful sound and it'll be distortion free and everything will be perfect for more information go to our website it's right here on the banner or actually if you're on our web uh, web on our youtube channel there we go i know we could say it right below this video there is a link that will pop you right to this article on our website and that chart is within the article also check out our Facebook, check out our Twitter feeds. We put all kinds of great stuff up there all the time. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe to our YouTube channel. That way when new videos come out, you get them as they come out and you get notices. And the last thing I wanna say is hit that like button. Let us know we're doing a good job. We'll keep putting more of these up for you and hopefully we'll help you get the system that you want for your home.
Thank you again for visiting. Happy viewing all.